Hi, my name is David Long and I'm a certified trainer and a senior consultant for Version 2 Consulting. We're a uh, Apple authorized um, training center and we provide ACMT training, consulting, as well as uh, all the certification training that Apple offers for IT professionals. One of the questions that we commonly get is uh, regarding ACMT or Apple Care Technician training and whether or not somebody should or should not attend a class and what some of the expectations are. So first off, there are two classes that, that uh, we offer in preparation for ACMT certification. One is OS 10 service for technicians, which covers the underlying operating system, basic troubleshooting, setup and configuration of OS 10, and is designed specifically to help you troubleshoot OS related problems so that you don't replace a logic board when you should have just nuked and paved. In other words, deleted and reinstalled everything on the computer. If it works, great, you don't have a hardware problem. The second class is the Mac service class, which basically is the hardware side. Here we actually troubleshoot hardware from post to display anomalies, go through and discuss ESD and technician safety. We talk about reference materials, access to GSX, talk about the parts that um, are available for ordering as well as the tools needed to perform repair, as well as at the end of class, usually the last uh, day and a half to two days, we actually perform take apart and, uh, and replacement of all uh, Apple computers, as well as testing and diagnostic um, to make sure that the computers were put back together properly. And if not, then we do troubleshooting uh, further of those computers. So those are the two different classes that we offer in preparation. There are two exams that you must pass regardless, and the two exams um, obviously correlate to those two courses. One is the Mac Service Certification Exam, which is the uh, uh, hardware test, basically. And that test number is 9L0010. And then the OS side is currently OS 10 10.8 Mountain Lion Troubleshooting, and that exam number happens to be 9 l 0 064. Both exams are required to become certified and you can pass them. You don't have to take both the exams on the same day, but obviously you want to take them as close together as possible because the other important part is that you do have to recertify on an annual basis. And so you don't want your exams to uh, lapse at different times, just slightly inconvenient. The important thing to remember about recertification is that it is self-proctored and open book but it must be completed prior to the expiration of your ACMT certification. Apple does send out notices in advance, but you must have access to GSX in order to pass the recertification exam. It's nearly impossible for you to be able to study for and prepare for because there's a lot of information that must be looked up, uh, and the only way to know it is actually by looking up that information. So don't forget, you must recertify at the end of uh, one year. So is this right for me? Uh, first off, if you are working for a company with at least 50 Macintosh computers, or you wish to perform a repair for another organization, those are the two types of people that should become ACMT certified. Also, any ACMT tech can actually perform in and out of warranty hardware repair. This is not for somebody working the help desk. It's not for a consultant or an IT professional who is troubleshooting and supporting Macintosh and iOS devices and network or home-based environments. This is only for people who wish to perform hardware repair only. And then finally, you should not, not attend at all because you're not gonna get a lot of benefit if you're just an individual consultant or an IT professional. And if you simply wanna perform repairs on only iOS devices, you cannot repair an iOS device. So thus, this class will not help you pre prepare for that because Apple does not sell parts for iOS devices. So this is pretty straightforward. Um, in review, remember there are two exams. There's one certification. You must renew annually, and uh, you do need access to GSX to be able to pass that exam, the renewal exam. And then finally, this is not for individual consultants or IT professional. Um, you do need access to GSX. Access to GSX is granted only to companies. And if you would like, we have a much more detailed um, video uh, that you can review also on our website that is uh, going to go into a lot of the extra details. Thanks for watching.